And now, from the desk of the superintendent's office, it's time for Super News. Hello, and welcome to Super News. The show that looks back at some of the good things happening in our district. And we'll begin today in Old Arby, where the MoMA Center has been a hub of activity. First off, the St. Bernard Volunteers for Family and Community held their annual fashion show luncheon. It was an afternoon of great food, fashions, and prizes. Over 100 folks took part, and the money raised will go towards scholarships, food banks, and various organizations in St. Bernard. This event also gave the members of the VFC a chance to strike a pose. Another community partner utilizing our facility was the St. Bernard Reading Association, which held its first membership meeting of the 2024-2025 school year. The St. Bernard Reading Association is affiliated with the Louisiana Reading Association and promotes and supports reading research, reading development, and the advancement of literacy. St. Bernard Librarian Janet Perez was also on hand to discuss the progress and programs that are a part of the new public library. Current and new members also brought used books to be donated to local libraries. Others who enjoyed a positive experience at the MoMA Center were employees who took part in another round of our Art for the Heart Wellness Series. Funded by a grant from the St. Bernard Parish Hospital in partnership with the school board, this new after-school program is geared towards bringing people together for some healthy fun. Last month's offering brought yoga to our employees, while other classes like painting, dancing, and culinary will take place throughout the school year. And finally at the MoMA Center, another season also kicked off recently when Academic Games hosted its first tournament of the school year. Students from across the district gathered for a morning of academic competition and a showcase of critical thinking. This was the first of four tournaments that are held throughout the year, culminating at the national tournament in April. And while these students were competing through academics, fifth graders throughout the district were learning how to write a play as Goat in the Road makes its return. The year-long playwriting program includes all of our seven elementary schools. There's a lot of things that could still go wrong in that moment, right? So it looks like I have what I want, but have I really gotten it yet? No, not quite yet, right? We, we don't have like a resolution yet, which we'll get there in just a moment. Uh, okay, so that's climax, right? We want it to be the most exciting moment of the story, but keep in mind the character has not quite gotten what they want just yet. This award-winning educational experience, funded by the Miro Foundation, has two main components. The 20 weeks of playwriting and theater classes where students learn to write plays and create an original one. And the showcase when eight selected student plays are performed by local professional theater companies. Thanks to the artists from Goat in the Road for helping our kids enjoy taking work from the page to the stage. And now let's head over to Shaman High School and see what's new there. Hello, welcome back to school and welcome to our Owl Watch News Network. I'm Esma. And I'm Norman. And we are here to share some of the good things that happen here at Shamet High throughout the year. Football team will also be sporting a new look this year when it starts, when it's kickoff a new season. In brand new uniforms for, for games both home and away, I don't want to sound too close-minded, but from the helmets, jersey, and socks, the Owl's new look really rocks. If I ever lose, then I swan too many. I don't pick and choose, now I'm always ready. I'm bleeding proud over my shirt if they ever get me. Walking tall like MG96, they can't forget me. I've been the one, yeah, I've been the one. Uh, if you see me coming, you better run. Yeah, treat me like God, I'm the one like the sun. I've been the one, yeah, I've been the one. And speaking of athletics, let's learn more about some of the people in the programs that are a part of our many offerings here at Shawnet High, where we'll get the scoop with Coop as we welcome our sports reporter here at Owl Watch News Network, Cooper McNamara. Today, I'm getting the scoop on our new girls basketball coach, Diamond Jackson. A standout player at both the high school and college level, Jackson was recently inducted in the Loyola University Athletic Hall of Fame. A two-time all-conference and first-team NAI selection, Jackson was also named 
as the 2018 Conference Defensive Player of the Year while at Loyola. She brings a wealth of coaching experience to the Owls. Let's meet her now. So I'm here with Coach Jackson, and I'd like to start off by welcoming you and welcoming you to the school. How has your first week been? It has been fun. I've been blessed to teach both freshmen and seniors, so I see the both full like culmination of the whole school. Over the past few years, this program has had success. In the short time you've had with your players, what are your initial thoughts on the upcoming season? I believe we should have the exact same success. I would love to go to the top 28, just me personally, but I see that what we have, especially after the last trial, that we have all the pieces to be successful this year. How do you think the success that you've achieved on the court will help translate to you coaching? Uh, as being a player, I've always been in situations where I had coaches that cared about me and they pushed me to be the best I could be. That way, like those type of experiences helped me become the coach that I am today. I know that I value player relationships. I value helping them get to wherever they need to go. And I feel like me being a player, going through those type of situations, I know the type of coach that I want to be for them to get the best out of them, like in both academically and athletically. Are there any former coaches that you've had or you've seen that you want to base your coaching style off of? Uh, I have... Well, I have my um, college coach, Coach Kennedy. She actually helped me understand, like, offense and uh, spacing and all that. So I do emulate a lot of her stuff. I also have my favorite coaches. So I like to watch uh, South Carolina. So I watch Don Staley. And, like, one of my favorite coaches of all time is uh, Pat Summit. And I've always felt like the way that she valued discipline and being a team, that's how I, like, try to base my players. I want them to know that we're a family first. And that we're here for each other and we're going to play for each other. So I get that from Pat Summit, from Don Staley. I get being tough but fair. And then from Coach Kennedy, I get literally, all right, I know how to create the team to where we, we get the best out of everybody's gifts. And finally, we want to remind you that when you look at the first letters of each word in our watch news, O-W-N, it spells own. So this year, we are really trying to make this program our own. We welcome you to be part of our, of our broadcast as we will share some of the fun and the friendships here at Chalmette High. From school spirit to school supplies, from academics, athletics, arts, and appreciation, we want to share it all with you. So stay tuned and stay connected. And we'll see you next time here on Our Watch News, where we always give a hoot about you. Good job, Owls, and to the Shaman High School production teacher, Chris Castillo. We appreciate your good work and look forward to seeing more great things this year from your students. And speaking of television, some of Mr. Castillo's students, as well as those in the Theater Tech Club, had a chance recently to tour the Ranch Film Studios here in Chalmette. Jason Wagensback, along with Sidney D. Torres, founded the ranch with a vision to not only build a state-of-the-art film studio, but to develop an ecosystem that fosters education, creativity, and economic development. With top-of-the-line facilities only a few miles from downtown New Orleans, Jason serves as the CEO and the head of possibilities, providing a home for both major blockbusters and independent film passion projects. And now let's go explore what's happening at the home of the Bulldogs and meet the Super News team of Lacoste. Hello everyone, I'm Gabrielle Nelson. And I'm Cameron Calderera. And welcome to our Lacoste for our Super News segment. We'll begin with our weekly Monday morning assembly, MMA for short. Assembly is a special time for our entire school community to celebrate all of our weekly accomplishments such as birthdays, Lexia superstars, and positive office referrals. We were thrilled to announce our new school for the year as these students will help Miss Morrell and Miss St. Philip deliver the news to our school. We also had a guest appearance from our iReady friend, Boy, since we were August Super School Challenge winners. Lacoste was one of two schools in the district to have the highest percentage of students on target in math. Our fifth graders once again participated in Starbase this year held at Jackson Barracks. Each year we are fortunate to partner with the Starbase team so that the students have the opportunity to complete STEM projects throughout the week. The Bulldogs love literacy and all the things that have to do with reading. Recently we were thrilled to host our school classic book fair and welcome many readers from our community to come and read to the students. We also hosted Literacy Night where teachers and staff led games for students and their families to play. 
Families were invited during this time to shop with their children at the School Asking Book Fair and enjoy performances from dance, cheer, and chorus. Hey Cameron, what kind of essays do dogs write? I don't know what. Rough drafts. Get it? Rough, 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 rough drafts? <laughs> and finally, the Bulldogs have teamed up with Shamet High football and volleyball team to welcome the students as we arrived at our school. Many high fives, hugs, and smiles were presented on this day, which was also Bus Safety Day. Thank you to Coach St. Philip and Coach Nusio and Miss St. Philip for organizing this special event. That's it for today. So from our Lacoste family to yours, thanks for tuning in. Bye! Bye. That was positively wonderful, Bulldogs. And now we go from Bulldogs to Alligators and Superstars as we meet our administrators who are in new roles this year. I'm Andrea Woodward and I am the new principal here at Araby Elementary School. I'm Cassandra Reddick, the new principal of Smith Elementary School. I have been in education for 29 years. I've served at Smith for approximately 20 years. When my boys, who are now 19 and 20 started school. They started um, here at Andrew Jackson in pre-K. I started working part-time as an interventionist at Goche. I um, just wanted to get back into the school system and started working full-time about three years later uh, as a pre-K teacher, then moved into first grade, and then I became an administrator at Shelman Elementary. I have family members that are in the parish, uh, live here, I've visited several times. So I'm very familiar with the parish. I've been here. I love the community. I love my Superstore family, especially the warm reception that I received when I first came to Smith was great. And the support that I've gotten since I have become principal has been um, remarkable. This is like my little community and my little family away from my family at home. Um, even though my family at home, like they've already met all of the students and they, they know who like my kids are, who my husband is and I think that even though all of the kids here are very different um, they're still alligators and I think that's what makes makes it so unique is like we can all identify very differently but at the end of the day we're all just Airby alligators and this is the home we come to five days a week which is you know maybe more time than they're spending in their own home um, so they have a good identity here and a good family away from their family in their house. So I went from teacher to instructional coach. When we are at TAP school, I was a mentor teacher. Um, so I'm an instructional coach, assistant principal, and now principal. In the classroom, you're looking at just what you and your students are doing. And my mentor and others saw in me that um, I could bring what was happening into my classroom into more classrooms. So the transition from being a teacher to administration has given me the opportunity to do the things that I love but on a broader scale. I was asked to come here by a reading coach. Her name was Becky Koval. She, she actually lives in Phoenix now, which is funny because she wasn't from there. Um, but she has since moved to Phoenix and she introduced me to Catherine Lemoyne, who was the very first person I ever worked for. Um, probably one of the best jobs I ever had in teaching was an interventionist at Goche. Um, I learned a ton from her and I think that like not even just about education, but just how to lead and how to be excited to like do something more for myself and kind of like challenge myself to do more in my career. Sometimes our children have uh, rough patches that they go through, but I want them to know that this school is their safe place. So one thing we are working on is to improve our culture um, here and to just improve on that family atmosphere that we have. My ultimate goal is to become an A school and we are striving for that. We've made strides so far and we're gonna to continue to strive until we are in A school. Thanks Andrea and Cassandra for all that you do for your students and the community of St. Bernard. And finally, mark your calendar to be inspired by the gentle guidance and wisdom of the longest serving principal in the USA in The Warner Way, the 50 year legacy of Principal Wayne Warner presented by the Miro Foundation. The film will premiere on Sunday, September 29th at 7 p.m. on WLAE.
Well, that's it for now. On behalf of Sarah, Jack, and me, thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you next time on Super News, where we always let the, the Super, Super News roll. roll. Bye. Bye, guys.